people underneath. We don't want that thrashing around during the process. So here I'm going to disconnect it by undoing this connector here, this black connector, anti-clockwise, and just slide that out of the way. On the earlier models that didn't have this, there is uh, a more solid connector. You just reach inside and disconnect the power to the waterproof gimbal for the process. Again, making sure it's very important that this lid is connected the right way and the drone is facing to the front direction. Lid over to the side while I do the connection process, making sure the transmitter switches to the up and back position. I turn the transmitter on, I pop it down, I connect the battery and wait for the beep, which you will hear now. I pop that out of the way. I then move the return to home switch to the home position down there and this time for the compass calibration I use left stick to the bottom, right stick to the top on the left hand direction and then you'll notice that the LED light inside has gone solid. I now release the sticks on this transmitter leaving it in the return to home position. I put the lid facing you know, arrow to the front, GPS to the back. I normally only just pop a couple of those in lightly while I do this calibration and now we're going to do the six axis rotation. This needs to be done making sure that the plane is kept level. I do it holding my arm out straight in front of me and rotate my body so it's an anti-clockwise rotation. One circuit upside down, holding my arm straight and holding it again in plane, doing an anti-clockwise rotation. Back to the beginning, I roll it over and have the silver stripes to the top, anti-clockwise rotation again, trying to keep it as accurate as I can, roll it over so that those stripes are pointing to the right, do a rotation the bottom and do a rotation and I'm again trying to make sure that I keep that as straight and level as I can during the rota rotation and then finally round to the left hand side the silver stripes for the left hand side for its final rotation and then I pop it back down on as level a ground as what you can get I just undo those screws and I have a look inside and I see that that light has changed from flashing Sorry, change from solid to flashing. I'm now ready to disconnect the battery again. I then move from return to home to normal and turn off the transmitter. And the calibration is now done, but it is important to remember that light will still change from solid to flashing, telling you've done a calibration. And if you've gone round and up and down like this, it will still calibrate, but your your drone will fly in that manner so keeping it in plane as much as you can will make for a far more stable flight. At this point you can put your props on and then when you've got your props on turn your transmitter on connect your battery uh, ready to arm. Um,